Hello, my beautiful artists. I hope that you are staying safe and staying happy. I know I am really happy when the sun is out and shining, but it's been a little bit gloomy in Chicago. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw a fun Febby umbrella rain landscape. To start off, we're going to draw a big umbrella that we can protect all our friends and family that we love. So I'm gonna choose either a marker or a colored pencil or a crayon. And I'm gonna make a nice big rainbow line. That's gonna be the top of the umbrella. The bottom of the umbrella sometimes has these wavy lines or kind of like zigzag lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more lines like that. They kind of actually look like little rainbow lines. So I kept going all the way across. Then I'm going to make a little dot on the top. I'm going to connect the corner of the rainbow line to the dot just like this. Watch. I'm going to put my marker on the corner, connect it to the dot. Put my line on the corner, connect it to the dot. Put my marker on the corner, connect it to the dot. Great job. Now we know an umbrella can't float. It needs to have a handle. To make the handle, I'm going to make a letter J and I'm going to make another letter J next to it and connect it at the end so it is a handle. Cool. So now we have an umbrella. Underneath the umbrella, we're going to draw our friends and family that we do not want to get wet in this fun, funfetti rain. But first we're going to decorate our umbrella. So we have some different sections or different parts. Each part will be another pattern. I'm gonna switch my marker color. Ooh, I heard that click. Let's do the first one together. So for the first one, I'm gonna make a, oh, I want a different color. Okay. I'm gonna make a skinny line. Then I'm gonna make a thick line. Skinny. Let's do the next one together too. Let's make, make some circles. Let's do the third one together too. After that, I want to see your O patterns. Okay, Ms. Shubo made one, two, three patterns with a marker. If you have a marker, use it. If you don't, not a big deal. I want to see what patterns you and your smart little brains can come up with the next ones. You can watch me as I work to create my patterns. Then I can go ahead and I can color in my J or my handle for my umbrella. Great, we have our awesome umbrellas. The next thing we're gonna draw with markers is the people that we want under our umbrellas with us. I'm going to draw me and my husband, Mr. Sean, under the umbrella. Now, remember, this landscape is a fun, rainy landscape. So we don't need, you can make your face look and your body look however you want, but since this is a fun, fun, feddy rain landscape, I'm gonna make sure that we're having a great time. Awesome. I drew my family. I spent time drawing and coloring in their clothes to make them look as believable as possible. Again, it doesn't have to look super real. And now here comes the fun part. We're going to make our fun Fetty sprinkle rain. We're, we know rain. That's water. That's blue. It's clear. You don't really see when it's raining, but we want this rain to be fabulous. So, we're going to use any colors we want and we're going to start by making lines in the sky on the sides, but we're not going to put 
any rain in here because this is where we are protected. Just like we're protected at home, this umbrella is protecting us from the rain. Now, I added some pink, but you know what? I want to go crazier. I want to add more colors. I want to make this a downpour, which is a lot of rain of Funfetti. You can see my lines aren't perfect. Some of them are straight. I'm finding white space to put them in. Like, this rain is pretty fun. I would have a good time in it, but you know what? I'm gonna add even more Funfetti to my rain. When you're done making your Funfetti rains, you can make a Funfetti puddle that you're standing in like this. I'm gonna start at where my leg and my foot meet right here. I'll kind of make a wiggly oval and then I'll connect it between where my feet were. I'll show you again. Now, this is not gonna be a regular puddle. No way, Jose. We're going to make this a fun fetty puddle too. So I can take colors and color them in in certain places, but not color the whole thing. And this is so fun because you don't have to color 100% neatly. You color how you want to color. You use the colors you want to use. You can even add some splashes of color when you're stepping in the puddles by making some splash marks. Wow, this looks so great. Now, if you're a hipster at home who does have markers and crayons or colored pencils, you can go ahead and you can even color in your umbrella with the lighter color. So for example, I can take a purple and I can color in the white space just to make this look more finished. And the reason you can still see the marker is the marker is darker and a little bit stronger than the colored pencils. So many different ways to make a rainy day landscape. There are so many people that you can put under your umbrella. If I could fit and draw every single Kipster, I would put all of you under this umbrella with me. I miss you and love you so much. I can't wait to see what your rainy day landscapes look like. If you're done, you can send it to Ms. Shubo. You can text her, you can email her, you can also post it on Instagram and then tag Kip, K-A-C-P, so we can brag about what an awesome artist you are. Love you. Bye!